Alright, I'm going to try to uh, do a tutorial for Music Creator 7. This is just going to focus on the way I have figured out by reading documentation for a day and experimenting because um, I'm new to this. Uh, the way I figured out to make a song with the MIDI instruments that is eventually exported into a wave. Um, that's all we're doing. And we're using the staff view. Okay, so I create new project. Um, we're going to name it uh, Don't Crash is going to be the name and then leave it on normal, say OK alright here we are and then we go up to synth, click on it uh, plus button, insert synth VS2, kick walk sound center OK Right, and it's gonna put a track here. Okay, and then we're gonna double click on this little tiny piano, not the big piano, the little tiny piano. It's gonna take us to all of our options of synths and some that are not options, like there's no bassoon, but there's a section for it. It's a shame because both the oboe and the bassoon and the clarinet, synthetic clarinet doesn't count. The oboe, bassoon, and clarinet are fantastic instruments, which are do not come with cakewalk. Um, so, what is Pizzy Loose? Let's try that. Hmm. Sure. Let's keep it short. Okay, so I, just, I double clicked it to pick it. And then I can press these keys to kind of see what it sounds like. And change some stuff. Right? Thickness. Let's make it thick. That's alright. Okay, and then I'm going to minimize this. Um, I'm going to right click here, go to view, staff view, now we have a staff, I'm going to resize this a little bit, I'm going to magnify it a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to click the loop button, because this is just the way I work, okay, now we got a loop here, and then I'm going to click the draw tool, we're going to pick quarter notes for simplicity at first, and then and what I mean by that is if you click on the note here you get to choose which type which length of note you're gonna use so we're just gonna leave it on quarter uh, which is four per one of these I think it's called a bar and then I'm just gonna put some stuff down see how that sounds um, if space bar will play it that sounds alright and let's go boom let's see it goes boom 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 uh, let's go uh, Okay, and to do that, we'll have to make it shorter notes, which would be eighths. And then go bub, bub, um, bub, bub. Okay, let's see how that goes. Um, let's do uh, ba 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 ba. How about that ba ba? Two eights. Ba 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 ba. So what I did there is uh, I didn't let go of the mouse and dragged it up to pick out which one I wanted. Bum bum bum. Um. Ba ba. Is that what I want to do? Ba ba. Or maybe go back to quarters. Ba ba. See how that sounds. Yeah, that's all right. And then, uh, bum, ba da, do. How about that? Ooh, that's good. Da da do. So, go back to we'll do an eighth. Ba, ba. And then, uh, do a quarter. Da. Do it will make that a half. I don't think I half notes with this instrument though. Yep, yeah, okay, so we got 
We got a little track there, okay. So let's do it again with something. Well, let's rename this. I'm going to double click where it says Cakewalk Sound and call this um, Pizzy because apparently that's its name. And then I'm um, going to go back over to where it says Synth, go to the plus sign, insert Synth, VS2 Cakewalk Sound Center. Okay. All right. And then we're going to click on the tiny piano and pick out another instrument. Mm, let's see. Maybe a piano. Go classic. There's a lot of pianos, that's good. Let's do, what's the word lips or sound like? I double clicked on this. Mm, not what I'm going for. Child's play. That could be good. Analog clav, clav, again I'm gonna double click. I like, I like that. We're gonna go with that. See how it goes. Oh no, let's go. Acoustic. Let's see what we got here. Saloon balloon. Ugh. Mini piano. Mmm. Dry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna go with that one. So, uh, I'll go ahead and say it's piano now, so I don't get confused. And then I'm gonna right click on this area. Go to view. Staff view. And there's actually a way to make it so that you can see both. I figured it out last night. What was it I did? Mm, show next track? No. No. Oh, here we go. No, that's. I want to. I want to see both of them though. Can't remember how to do it. Figured it out last night, but I can't figure it out now. It would be really helpful though. Uh, should I be doing this on the video? I don't know. Um. Staff view. Eh. Ah, come on. Let's figure this out fast. Tracks. Mm. I'm not going to be able to figure this out immediately. I know there is a way to do it. You can have both of the tracks available there to see. Um, so view, staff view, and then, um, let's see, what, sound, what does it sound like? Okay, so we'll do, uh, the first note's boom, so we'll do, let's see, if, let's see, boom, Not sound good at all. Let's get rid of them. And I'm going to change the loop just so it loops faster. I'm dragging this over. That's not the one I was supposed to drag. That one is. Let's see. And that goes to three. Ba -ba. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, first we'll change it to at least fourth notes. And need the draw tool. Uh, let's make it a chord too. Sorry, let's hear it together. I meant to go all the way back, all the way. Okay, and then what happens? Let's see, maybe um, uh, maybe uh, 
ba right da maybe two uh two half chords Ba 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 ba. Hmm. I, don't, I think this needs uh, to be quarters. I'm probably making this video too long. Uh, uh, lower. Bum. Bum. Nope. Bum. Bum. Let's see how that goes. Sure, whatever. And we're trying to finish this up. And, uh, for the last one. That's all right. Okay. So, yeah, so let's suppose we got this song here. And, uh, and I should probably show you one more thing. Okay, synth plus insert VS2 kickwalk. Okay. And we're going to make this into a drum. And just because it's kind of useful to know about the drum sequence or thing. So um, move this all the way back. Go ahead and adjust your loop. And then uh, right click down here, view, um, step sequencer. This is good for drum tracks. Um, oh, we didn't uh, pick a synth though. Drum, 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 drum. Dry kit, I guess. I don't know. So that's a C and a D. We'll go with that. Where's the C? Does this seem... Where's that C? I'm uh, clicking on these little arrows to get to the right note. Okay, so... This is a it's this is a sequence, so you can change how many beats there are and like how many steps per beat, right? Okay, so boom da, we'll just do boom da, boom da, boom da, boom da. How boring could we get? And we can't be that boring, can we? I'm right clicking to delete. Okay, then I'm going to click on this up here, uh, or select it, do I have to select it? Yeah, and I'm going to press a control C, and I'm going to move this little curse, drag this little cursor to the end, and say control V to duplicate that. Alright, we got a song. So now, to export, we are going to... Let's see, I want to put this down. Um, it's probably a better way to do this, but this is how I ended up doing it last night. I just highlighted all this bullshit, right? Um, include, see how I'm going past the loop to seven? Okay, that means that it won't cut off, so like reverb and stuff won't just cut off. I'm adding some extra time there. And then I'm going to say mix down. Um, I'm going to put it on the desktop, I guess, and we'll name it. What, what was the name of this song? Don't Crash, right? Yeah, you can guess why I called it that. OK, 
Okay, export. And then let's see if we can find that file. Where is it? Uh, da, 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 here's all my stuff. Don't crash. Beautiful. That's how I do it.